back yeah. in the cave. Oh, oh, oh perfect, perfect. You always gotta have that flag. Oh, this wow. is what gives me the power and the strength. It's official, guys. I am part of the PFL team. The question is, why not the PFL? PFL is an amazing company, and I was intrigued by it from the very beginning when I heard about it. I love the style. Everyone in one division fighting for that one goal, to become champion, to become a millionaire. I accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish in boxing, and MMA just always been in the back of my head. Um, I always wanted to be, of course, an MMA champion and a boxing world champion at the same time. Every now and then, after a good boxing workout, I still throw my kicks, and I'm still doing little sprawls here and there. Well, if fans haven't seen me in box, my fighting style is nonstop throwing punches. I love to fight. I don't mind getting hit as long as I'm throwing one or two bombs. And it's so funny because as a boxer, I'm known as the heavy hitter. I have 30 knockouts in, in boxing. But in MMA, I have three fights and I won two by submission. How crazy is that? I didn't even get no knockouts in MMA, but submission. And to me, I think that's a little more satisfying because it feels good to feel that person tap. <laughs> I'm just a fighter in general, so you're still gonna see that in MMA. Like I said before, I got two submissions, so don't be surprised if you see more. <laughs> one fight in the PFL, and now you're fighting for a chance for the belt. Tell me about that. A lot of people think I'm gonna get smoked by Dennis because he he's such a veteran. He's been here before, he's predicted to win it. That's great, that works out in my favor because I love being the underdog. I don't have any pressure on me. He has all the pressure. And you know, I'm just gonna make it an ugly fight and get in his face. And uh, I, I think my big advantage is, is just the dog fight in me. He, he's a pretty fighter. He likes to stay long. He likes to, you know, pick him apart from distance. Uh, me, I'm going to get in his face and I'm going to make it ugly. And if it has to stay on the feet, that's great. If it has to go to the ground, it's even better. You know, I'm not scared of anybody. I respect everybody in this game. You know, anybody can win with one strike. Uh, but I'm, I'm super excited for this challenge. And Dennis is definitely going to be my biggest challenge. It's been a long road for you to be close to winning a title again. What are your thoughts on that? Поэтому можно сказать, можно считать себя даже ветераном PFL в каком-то смысле, и в какой-то веке надо все-таки побеждать и доказывать, что наша школа лучше. Let's talk about Jordan as an opponent. Я знаю, видел, с кем он бился, с кем он работал там. В целом. Конечно же, самый показательный будет это его последний крайний бой. А зачастую, наверное, это она и основное для каждого бойца это дух, характер бойца, и он не боится идти зарубиться и готов идти до последнего. Вот так делаем. Everybody saw the head kick for the first fight. Okay, the God Amber into the playoffs. Да, у него был так называемый лаки панч во время первого самого боя. Это бои здесь все непредсказуемо, поэтому нужно быть очень сфокусированным и очень внимательным в бою. Можно ожидать все что угодно. Поэтому, конечно, была тоже и проделана здесь небольшая работа над этим, над защитами, но особо это мне не пугает. У меня был уже опыт с высокими драться. Для меня это не вызывает никакого страха. Наоборот, это даже лучше для моего стиля. First time here in the city. Uh pretty wild. It's nothing like Nebraska, so it's definitely something to get used to. I think the opportunity to fight in such an iconic place like Madison Square Garden, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I'm honored for the chance. Um, you know, but to me, it's, it's just another fight. 
another another place, another location, so I don't let it get to my head. Uh, I've actually never had anybody fight at Madison Square Garden, so for even like from a coaching standpoint, it's it's like a dream come true. So yeah, I'm excited. No issues with my weight. Uh, that's the advantage of being a, a heavyweight, undersized. Uh, you get to come to awesome places like New York and try uh, a bunch of good New York food. So uh, definitely uh, not a bad situation for me. Beers on Friday night after the victory. Nine, four, two. subiu como começou, ponta dos pés. Ah, muito bem. Porra, treinando bem pra caramba. Preparado, motivado, bem focado. Pronto pra essa luta aí sexta-feira. Vamos com tudo. Baixinho, mantém sua perna flexionada, é importante. I'm so happy. Uh, Renan is ready for the fight. Yes. Just doing little adjustments. We work a lot in the camp specific for this fight for, for Maurice Green skills. So Renan is ready for give a good show for the for the crowd on Friday. Aí você acertou? Galopa, o cara vai sentir o soco. Toda luta com vitória tem um sabor especial, né? A gente concretiza um trabalho a fim de uma de um de um trabalho que foi bem feito. Então fico muito feliz, independente do, do de quem seja o adversário ou do que ele tenha falado. Morris Green is trying to disordinate his mindset, but uh, he doesn't get success on this. It's more like a challenging, né? Yeah? I think Renan has nothing, not against the uh, uh, Morris Green. Is the same, I think Morris Green has not against Renan. It's only business. Ele não vai ter é, encarar você, entendeu? Ele não vai segurar o trem, não, entendeu? Na hora que ele vê o trem vindo para cima dele, eu quero ver.